Movie director, producer Bolanle Austin Peters has emphasized the importance of sharing Fumilayo Ransom Kuti story during the movie premiere in Lagos. The film beautifully portrayed the remarkable journey of this Nigerian educator, political campaigner, and women's rights activist. Our correspondent Paul George was there. The night was filled with shining stars from the Nigerian entertainment industry, bringing together a diverse crowd to witness the premiere of the movie, Fumilayo Ransom Kuti. The film, directed and produced by the talented Bolanle Austin Peters, aims to inspire the youth by telling the story of this remarkable matter. Fumilayo's story is an important story that the world must hear. You know, a lot of times we hear about Rosa Parks in America. We hear about all these heroes. And you ask yourself, where are the Nigerian heroes? There's so many of them, but we're not telling their stories. Our children must understand that we have great Nigerians, we have great Africans that have lived, and in knowing their heritage, they will become better for us. The great grandson of the heroine, Made Kuti, praised the producer, cast, and crew for their excellent work, mentioning that the film exceeded expectations, while renowned actor, Adibayo Salami, who played the role of the Alake of Egbaland, encouraged Nigerians to watch the movie for valuable life lessons and a memorable experience. The entire family has seen it already, and when we saw it, it was such a precious moment that at the end of the film, every single one of us ended up crying because it was such an emotional film with so much truth and so much power delivered by just an absolutely fantastic set of cast members and you know an entire team behind it so I know that everyone that goes inside today will have a fantastic time. Oh sure, sure. I would advise them to watch. They should watch it when it comes. It teaches a lot of lessons and preaches summer. So no doubt about it, you just pick your own bear. Kane Bankoli and Ibrahim Suleiman, the main actors in the movie, were thrilled to make history. They believe that Nigerians will find inspiration and learn valuable lessons from the film. These are people who lived amongst us, who will inspire us. It's not like you heard the story that somebody else did it somewhere. Somebody right here did it, and a woman for that matter. Very inspiring. And I think that's why we should tell such stories. Oh, people should watch it because it's a story that talks about the power that people have. It's not about Fumila Ransom Kuti as much as it's about you, the people. She spent her time enlightening the people, educating them on their own power. A lot of us growing up, we thought that Fumila Ransom Kuti was basically Fela's mother and the first Nigerian woman to drive a car. And that's basically all we knew about her. And it is a very small fraction of who she is and what she stood for and what she was about. So this movie will educate people um, about that specifically. And then to also give insights into the fact that it will, it will help us understand that our struggles today are not unique. As the event wrapped up, Nigerians are hopeful that more heroes and heroines will be recognized and celebrated. Paul George, Plus TV News.